Hello everyone, Ultimate Bricks here reviewing the primary build of LEGO Set 31063 Beachside Vacation. It contains 275 pieces, recommended for ages 7 to 12, and in the US retails for $29.99. The main thing in this set is of course the, uh, the beach hut where they are having their beachside vacation. You can see it has a uh, moderate interior, though uh, nothing that is too special or that makes it uh, completely amazing. You can see the building is at an angle right now. It does fold up like this to uh, provide a nice facade. However, that um, does leave the back being uh, somewhat open which is good if you want to see the interior but if you don't want to see the interior the whole thing uh, closes up like that and turns into this uh, nice looking uh, building that would work well in a city that is going to be exposed from all sides and stuff because it uh, really does look good from all sides some of the side builds are this little turtle which is a pretty cool build using the flipper pieces those uh, eyes and nice uh, brown shell as well as a little uh, water scooter watercraft that does not float and is, uh, has a little minor build as well as just a inclusion of a orange surfboard which is pretty nice. Some of the detailing near the bottom includes this tree which is a nice build using an elephant trunk and actually looks really smooth. I think they did a great job of making this look like a palm tree. This is where the front door is and it's, uh, since this whole building is built up on stilts, the front door is uh, built up and you have to climb up this uh, ladder to, uh, to get in. And uh, strangely enough there was no doorknob which makes this uh, door actually pretty hard to open. Usually they include a uh, stud on there for a doorknob but that is uh, interesting that they didn't choose to do that. Given that this uh, set is actually more than 10 cents per part. I'm actually pretty surprised that there are no lock studs for doorknobs. Just seems like maybe a kind of a shortcut. Anyways, down here there is a white stud representing a seashell and a brown uh, flower star from Friends representing a uh, starfish. Then there is a nice uh, hammock here where the uh, minifigs can relax and uh, lay down in the hammock. It is built with a uh, cloth piece suspended underneath the uh, little banister right there on the other side that side would be the beach and this side is uh, already kind of slightly submerged by water right here as you can see it just uh, kind of slopes in there are some uh, little white cheese slopes there to uh, signify some little waves or maybe some inconsistencies in the water and right here there are just some little bricks to uh, show some texture in the sand moving up above this where the uh, whole beach hut uh, house itself is built. You can see the uh, main color scheme is a is blue with a medium and light azure for the uh, stripes, which give it a, a really beachy look. I don't know if that's a word, it isn't. Anyways, um, kind of some different stuff here. This is the balcony door, which means this door, uh, there's no stairs leading up to here. It's uh, only on the balcony. And there's a slight railing that does not extend the whole way because that part can be used for fishing where there is a little area fishing pole holder right here and that thing could be snapped out just like that and attached into the hands of our uh, minifig if he wants if he wants to go fishing while well, um, the uh, railing provide a uh, nice handhold for anyone out there just relaxing you can see there's some nice awnings that uh, are identical just like that though they are at different heights to accommodate for uh, ones on this nice window with some flower pots and this one is just on the regular balcony there are two um little lights which uh, just are for decoration of course they don't light up but they look pretty cool there is a little build for a seagull on the top but it's just one of those standard lego bird builds that uh, show up in these creator sets so nothing too special to do a, a close up on and of course these roofs are at the same height because that is necessary for the uh, whole thing to fold up just like that and I think that that is probably enough 
about the outside and now we can take a look at the inside so where you would first go up is these uh these um these uh spinning chair it doesn't spin perfectly well because it's not on one of those turntable pieces it's actually on some these uh newer style circle circular pieces with a set in the middle because that is um just because it's the pieces that they use for some of the alternate builds right there another example of them just shoving in pieces where it's relatively unnecessary is right here it's just like a stack of pieces that are used in the wind sail uh wind surfer in the alternate build which is like is this supposed to be a lamp or a pole or something it just feels like kind of like they just shoved that in there completely unnecessarily maybe it's a coat rack that's kind of too hot if you know what that's supposed to be and it isn't just a waste of parts Come in the comment section down below. And, I mean, not a waste of parts, but just parts of storage because they are using the ovens. Anyways, there's a little fish tank right here, which is using a nice build where the fish tank is actually built into the wall. So you can see removing the tank part. The fish would just be hanging on the wall. So a uh, nice uh, build into the wall. And not sure if you can see, but there is a ceiling fan right there, which is a pretty cool build for a ceiling fan. There's a tiny bit of attic space right there. There's a little arch, but no minifig could fit in there. Definitely, not even like a small one. And maybe you could put a little bit of storage up there or something like that. Anyways, let's take a close up look at those minifigures. The two figures included are a uh, man and a woman. No two, uh, two special parts. Here the uh, legs on the man are just that uh, dark blue. Newman has regular white legs. The torso prints are okay, but uh, I think the best parts of these figures are the face prints and the uh, the hair. So turning them around, you can see they do have some alternate expressions. That guy has the barfing face or the queasy face from the fairground mixer. And the lady has some nice uh, sunglasses, which would probably be uh, useful at the beach. And then you can see the uh, front right there without the uh, hair pieces on, those are a little bit better. Alright, that's my review and opinion on the LEGO Creator Beachside Vacation Set. Please remember to share your opinion in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys later. Bye.